It has a manned turret mounted under the bridge of the ship that can disengage, swing under the hull, slide along a rail, and reposition itself under the aft section of the arc. This was featured in the opening sequence of Dark of the Moon, as it fired on the pursuing Decepticon ships. The angle of how the ship crashed on the moon is an homage to the original arc. It is unclear how long the arc drifted through space before it finally crashed into the moon. However, some comics depict the arc on its float through space coming into contact with the fallen ship, the Nemesis, and both crippled each other. This would also explain how Fallen's ship crashed as seen in The Revenge of the Fallen. This arc was not the first ship of Cybertronian origin to crash on the moon. The position of one of the arc's gunners in his seat is very similar to that of the space jockey seen in the first Alien movie. Considering that the interior of the Nemesis resembles the alien nest seen in Aliens, this may be intentional. It should be noted that the arc has no windows, just open portals. Windows are not needed as Cybertronians do not need to breath oxygen. 